choir on Monday, and then sixth grade high school band, jazz band on Tuesday, and this is of course our seventh grade and eighth grade band night. Um, yeah. One thing I have stressed this year more than anything with these students is how to behave correctly and what respect is. And, and we hope to demonstrate this as we're sitting out there and as we're on the stage, but we ask you as audience members to please do the same for us, which means no talking to your partner or think you're sitting with as we're playing, and please try to not get up and move around as each song is going on. I think you're in for an incredible night of music. Not, not I think, I know. The group before you right now, of course, is our seventh grade. Amazing, the, the difference that we sound like now than what we did just a few months ago. I've told the kids, the growth that we've done since December's concert is what usually takes about a year and a half to mature musically and just emotionally. It's, it's on a totally different level. So I'm just very, very impressed with them. I hope you are too. Uh, the first piece we're gonna play for you is one of two pieces that we took to a uh, KMEA assessment festival back in March. And that's where we go and get judged. Um, I'm very proud to say that these seventh graders got all distinguished ratings from all the judges. Uh, this piece of music is entitled Liturgical Fanfare. Um, it's easy, it was kind of on the easier side. This is one of the first pieces we started working on in January. But I told the kids, like, in order for us to get distinguished, we have to do this absolutely textbook perfect. And so there's a lot of little musical nuances, a lot of accents and different things going on. So hopefully that comes across to you right now as we play liturgical fanfare. 